Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Songs of Conquest miniseries where we're continuing the second mission in the second song. Things are continuing to escalate rather quickly as we currently have two wielders on hand between Rask the First Rider and Sheikham Stormcaller, but we are about to get a third as soon as we do a little bit of housekeeping that'll increase our limit. Beyond that, we found some additional sources of reinforcements, at least I assume they're reinforcements based on just, you know, pattern recognition. These guys should bolster our armies, and beyond that, we found another settlement to claim as well. And once we claim this settlement, I think we'll be able to start building some resource generation points, and that will allow us to upgrade some of our older buildings, which in turn will allow us to upgrade some of our troops, which means we'll be performing better in battle as well. There's a lot right around the corner, and of course, on top of all that, we'll be exploring the rest of this massive map and continuing towards our objective here as well, seeking the F draw. I'm quite curious as to what that is, and if you're curious as well, folks, if you would like to see the series continue to its conclusion, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know down below with a like and a comment. Again, I read all the comments to get a quick idea of how folks are feeling in terms of, you know, feedback, opinions, thoughts, sentiments. I read through them all, and I do try to address them as best as possible, and beyond that as well, the number of likes and comments is a very quick read for me to get a good idea of, you know, what folks are interested in watching on the channel versus not, and how I should approach things on the channel as a result. With all that said, and no more time to waste, let's get this party started, shall we? The first order of business, the first thing I would like to address, is with regards to the third wielder. As some of you pointed out in the comments, yes, we are very much still limited to a maximum of two, and I perhaps should have mentioned this during the previous episode's ending, uh, but I figured I'd mention it today instead. That's a very easy thing to overcome, so I'm not too fussed about it. All we have to do is upgrade our large settlement down over here, uh, once we bring it up to its third tier, we'll be able to get our third wielder, but I'm going to hold off on that upgrade because I would much rather use that gold, that 2,500 gold right now, to give Cheekum a bit of an upgrade. And I don't mean in terms of his, you know, skills or anything, I just mean in terms of his army. We're going to send him towards this mud hut over here, uh, use that money to recruit some additional troops and bolster whatever he has in his limited slots, and then hopefully... Uh, you know, in the next couple of turns, we'll make enough money again to then invest in some of those upgrades and buildings. Beyond that as well, by the way, I should make a quick note myself and for you. I do intend to upgrade Deep Waters as well. And with the uh, medium build site that will get us, I want to establish the exchange. And then we can start looking at some of these huge surplus goods we have, these stockpiles we have, selling some of those off and acquiring gold in their place and using that to, you know, recruit more troops and things like that as well. But for now, let's stay focused on the task immediately ahead of us over to these mud huts with Cheekum. Let's recruit a handful of troops. And I actually have a plan for um, using next turn's money uh, at these mud huts as well. Let's first go ahead and do what? I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of these crawlers because I I'm going to bolster our guards as well. But I think my first priority is to bolster our crawlers over here. Is that really as many as I can get? I cannot get eight. No, all right, fine. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and do that. Bring these guys up to their maximum. That sounds fair enough. We have a little bit of money left. Let's go to this lookout tower. Y'all have pointed out in the comments that I actually have not engaged with this lookout tower. I will tell you completely frankly, seeing it in that dim uh, color tells me that it's either been interacted with or it's less important uh, which is why in my head it had registered as, oh, I must have already seen it, uh, because, you know, I can kind of see stuff down over here. So I'd assumed I'd already visited, but you're very much right. I don't think I have. I realize this, you know, brown earth tone is used across a variety of uh, interactive uh, elements as well. But the, that's just my, just my two cents as to what made me believe I'd already visited the spot. Anyway, let's go ahead and use this lookout tower to spot yet another settlement. Some more reinforcements, a bubbling bog up over here as well. Quite a bit. Oh my goodness, there's a stack of gold. All right. Good stuff. Now, if I've, yes, done my math, so to speak, correctly, we are going to be next to these mud huts at the beginning of the next turn as well. So we'll use next turn's money to recruit a few more troops, maybe bolster these guards a little bit so they don't die as easily. I mean, if we're going to use a unit, might as well, you know, use it responsibly, right? Uh, so we'll be able to use uh, these mud huts over here again to recruit a bit more. We'll visit this crumbling tower, which might actually take us to the next level. I believe that gives us XP. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and dive into this, uh, this battle over here as was planned during the previous episode. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and bring Rask as far down as we can bring him. Uh, we do not want to send him, uh, you know, recruiting troops because he's basically got a full army over here 
uh, I mean, there's a couple of gaps here and there, yes, but he doesn't have any empty slots. So we're likely going to end up leaving a bunch of troops behind if we try to, uh, you know, pick up some of these reinforcements. And that is a complete waste. So let's go ahead and push down to this bubbling bog, or perhaps, in fact, this rider statue doesn't seem like we... Yeah, we should go towards this rider statue. Um, then the bubbling bog will hit up the spawning pool uh, down over here, recruit a couple of troops, you know, fill out our, uh, our numbers, and then continue down over here through these, you know, chests and, and piles of gold to this company of Baria troops and, and see what these uh, caged prisoners maybe have to offer uh, Rask himself before we, you know, maybe hit up this bandit hideout, maybe get the, uh, the, the ore, the celestial ore from, from here. There's so much to do. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do. But, again, one step at a time, right? One round at a time, one step at a time. Cheekum, let's go ahead and recruit a few more. Yes, I say guards might be the best call. We can get five of them, stack this up to ten. Fair enough, I'm comfy with that. Let's go ahead and visit the crumbling tower next. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love when I can, you know, kind of tell at least with some confidence what's around the corner. Uh, I could unlock that extra slot right now. It has, oh my goodness, it's so tempting. But with the amount of gold we have right now, with our current flow, is it worth the expense? I could split my guards up, I suppose. I could split my hunters up. But going up against Dreths, I don't think that would work to our benefit. Those units would just die immediately. So instead, I'm actually thinking... I'm actually thinking I'm going to get Cunning instead. And then hopefully that battle will upgrade us by another step. And then we can go ahead and get the uh, next step of command. Oh, I'm going to live to regret this decision, aren't I? But you know what? Let's go with Cunning. It's proved quite useful with Rask. So let's try it here as well with Cheekum. And let's hope I don't live to regret that decision. I mean, let's hope I... I mean, I'd rather live to regret that decision, but let's hope I don't live to regret that decision. Emphasis on the regret, obviously. Let's go ahead and visit this statue over here, get the extra offense and defense. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I could deal with the Dreths using Rask, but again, the purpose of that engagement is to try and uh, bolster Cheekum, right? That's why we're, we're headed over there. Uh, all right, good stuff. Oh, one thing to check, actually, because this turn, we have finished the construction of the Beast Coral. I know I've been butchering this pronunciation. It's one of those words that I always screw up, so I apologize for that. But we can actually upgrade this with a cost of just two Glimmer Weave and two Ancient Amber in order to uh, generate Tremors as well, which I think is a worthwhile investment. Uh, we should also be able to upgrade it as soon as we get five Glimmer Weave. So in two turns, we'll be able to upgrade this because we already have the Lean to in the settlement, and that'll generate Tremors and Riders of the Swamp at a faster rate at the uh, at the Beast Coral. Uh, between Beyond that, sorry. The lean to. Ooh, we need quite a bit of celestial ore here. Fair enough. And what about you? Oh, we can upgrade you right now. Get sages coming through. Four stone, three glimmer weave, three ancient amber. That does not sound like a terrible idea. Um, yeah, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and do that? Sure. You know what? Let's, uh. Let's go ahead and do that, I think. Because I. The only thing that's holding me back is this. I would like to be able to upgrade this sooner, I think. The Shaman have been performing well enough right now. So, all right, let's hold off. Let's hold off. As tempted as I was there, I'm going to hold off for now. Are we able to reach? No, we're not. All right. Move you as close as we can. Because I would like to fill you out before we go against these Barrier troops down over here. And up over here, Cheekum. Time to shine, buddy. Time to shine. Let's go ahead and quick save because there's no harm in doing that. And let's dive on in. I think we got this. I think we got this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and deploy down over here. Uh, yeah, like so. My plan is to kind of like draw these guys down this way. Hopefully they'll move rather slowly. They'll be, you know, that's why I'm not up over here because they'll close the gap a bit quicker. Uh, even though cunning only lasts two rounds, I think we'll be engaging within two rounds time. I want to use this high ground if possible. Might try and set up a flanking maneuver or something like that. But yeah, I just want to draw them diagonally down as opposed to give them that straight B line. Let's see how that plays out. The battlefield we go. I'm sure this will be just fine. I say with the utmost confidence. I think we'll manage. I think we'll survive. But as again, as some of you pointed out, and as I've been thinking and saying out loud for the last couple sessions as well, it's not just about winning. It's about winning efficiently because momentum is such a factor in games like this. Every lost unit is expensive and I can't keep losing units. It's a uh, not viable. <laughs> it's not viable. We can actually keep Buddy over here, move you up to there, and move you up to here so we can get that plus 10 defense buff to both of these guys and move these guys 
around the bend and up. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna stay put, buddy. You're gonna move up over to there, try and bait me forward. Nice try, not gonna happen. Gonna, ooh, you know what? I gotta be a bit more careful over here. Because if I move up over here, we'll get attacked and I'll have to, I'll retaliate. Don't know if I want that. I mean, again, we do have cunning right now, so actually not terrible. And it's not like both of them can attack me. Only one of them will be able to attack me. All right, fair enough. Let's let's go ahead and move up, and, and we can also use intimidation as a result of that uh, adjacency, I suppose. All right, here comes that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and move you right up to here. Try it. Here he comes. There's the intimidation. That was a bit more damage than I would have liked, I'll be honest. Ooh, hello. Four to seven. We could try this. I'm a little worried about this guy falling behind, but I, I, if I stay back over here, I feel like this guy's going to come down and fill in this gap, and that'll cause us trouble. So why don't we go ahead and move in. Might as well try. I could use aggression. I don't think that plus 10 is going to make enough of a difference over here. Melee offensive 48 versus their, uh, what, defensive negative 6. This is the intimidation. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that aggression still. It might make, it might might have made a bit of a difference, but uh, I was hoping beyond hope there. All right, let's see. We can definitely finish you off. 18 to 24 damage up over there. Who moves next? Buddy at the back there moves next. All right, fair enough. Then it's that guy up top. These guys will be able to come up and finish them off. All right, so here's what I'm gonna try and do here. I'm going to try and get. You up over here, taking some risks. I could pop Sabotage, reduce their melee defense. Negative 20 across the board. These guys have four. That is not insignificant. All right, let's go with Sabotage. Push in, do what damage we can, eat what damage we have to. Oh, if that was not as good as I'd hoped. Oh, that was, that was... Could have gone a lot better for me. Move you up over here. I'm, I'm not surprised at the prospect of losing these guys. <laughs> Say it as it happens. So that's fine. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is not too shabby. Not too shabby. I wonder if I should put this earth block down over here. Let's see. Buddy moves next. I kind of wish I had that uh, initiative reducing capability. Oh, that would have made a big difference. But uh, it is what it is. I could pull... Back. Trying to figure out how to make sure these guys have that extra plus 10 and also get uh, intimidation, but I don't think I can do both. If I move into attack, we're just letting this guy out to die. What's your what's your melee offense? 20 versus our defense of 49. I'm just wondering if I should apply pressure as opposed to fall back. Now let's do this. Put you back to here. Um, they put... All right, not too upset about that. Go ahead and use aggression on you and you. However much that'll help us. Let's go ahead and, yeah, push in. And it's something. Push in from the side here. No retaliation now, of course. Uh, drop your initiative. Oh, you're already at the end because of the intimidation. Fair enough. Go ahead and hit. And we'll eat one more retaliatory strike here. I just wonder if there's something I can do to further weaken you. Let's go for it. You know what? I think that went all right. I I, I think that went okay. <laughs> Those uh, hunters up top died real fast. A little bit faster than I was ready for. I knew they were going to go. I knew they were going to go. But I thought I had them for at least one more round. Maybe I was a little too cocky with them. But we're victorious. And outside of those those hunters, we did we did okay. I think we did all right. Good stuff. And from that victory, reaching the next level, go ahead and get command at this point in time. Ooh, raider. Ah, uh, get the feeling there's gonna be. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more like active pillaging on this map. But I don't think uh, I don't think no. Let's let's go with command over here. Pretty sure that's what I said I would do. At least I meant to say that that's what I was gonna do. Now I'm gonna confirm that we need that extra slot. Though we, we have an empty slot right now. Let's not uh, let's not get too caught up on that. Minor distractions. Some glimmer weave over here. Oh, it would have been great if we could pick that up because then I imagine we'd be able to get the uh, upgrade down over here done right now, right? But 
That's just my luck. No worries. Go ahead and end the round there. Pretty pleased with that, actually. You know, I'm, I'm being a little too hard on myself there, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with how that went. Pick up that plus four glimmer weave uh, down over here. Go ahead and upgrade you. Beautiful. I do love the, uh, the upgrades and stuff, uh, how they're visualized and everything. Could get this as well at this point. Again, it's because of that pickup, and I, I probably should have tried to get ahead of that, but... Uh... Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and upgrade you. Hopefully that, that's that's worth it. Go ahead and pick up... What do we have here? Ooh, I would have missed that pouch of gold if I hadn't used the, uh, the hotkey there. Go ahead and pick you up. What does that do for us? Plus five defense, not too shabby. Go ahead and grab that pouch of gold. Go ahead and grab this treasure trove as well. Quite a bit of money. All right, cool. Now we're talking. So, I could send uh, Cheekum up over here to pick up a couple of reinforcements. God knows he needs them, so why not, right? We'll send Cheekum up over here uh, while we sort of set up to recruit uh, Mashugna. Sure. So down over here, let's go ahead and upgrade South Creek Flats. 2,500 gold. Yes, I'm going to prioritize this. Go for it. Now, at this large build site, I will eventually want to get the birthing pool so we can start researching various technologies. Uh, but, I mean, we, we can't afford it either way. Uh, however, I just wanted to address this. I think it needs to wait. I don't think that's the highest priority. I think there are a couple of other things that are a priority first. I wouldn't mind getting the mud huts at this stage, but again, cost. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting the exchange either, though I feel like... I'm just not sure what is safer and what is more uh, under potential threat. You know, I don't want to have my recruitment buildings out there where they might get uh, taken out. Um, if I upgrade you, I can get that exchange built up. A thousand gold and it'll be a couple turns of, of gold acquisition before we can actually build it. We're not going to rush the upgrade. And just to address this, there's our wielder limit up to... Three, we can get Meshugna once we have the money for it. So, you know what, let's go ahead and first deal with the uh, recruitment over here. The spawning pool. From South Creek Flats. Okay, that threw me off for a second. I was like, what do you mean, no available? Uh, all right, what do we have here? We have one Tremor available. I'm not going to do that. We could top up some of our Shaman. Yep, should definitely do that. We could not top up our uh, Hunters. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm wondering... Ooh, they're the Riders of the Swamp. I have... Ah, that song stuck in my head from uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, was it? Um, oh no, that song is very well stuck in my head now. I could stay put for another round to just top up our Hunters before we move forward. I don't think that's a terrible idea. How much movement do we have left? Oh, we have all of our movement left. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's where we're going to do the stone, stone altar over here. Take what it has to offer. And at this point... Why not... Engage this bandit hideout, and then next turn we can come back to the spawning pool and, uh, and recruit, you know, to fill out whatever gaps we, uh, we develop, and hopefully we have enough money to, to, to do that across the board. Sure, yeah, we'll do that, but... Before I get into that, let's go ahead and send uh, Cheekum as far up as he can get. Is there anything to interact with along the way? Doesn't look like it. All right, up we go. I guess this milestone we can engage with, and I think that'll give us uh, extra movement if memory serves me correctly. But that'll be next round, down over here, up to this hideout. Hopefully not too difficult to fight. Easy, it says. All right, cool. Let's fight him. See what goods we can get from here. Likely a fair bit of money. Um... All right, these guys back over here. Well, they've got many brigands and an assembly of wolves. They're not typically too tough. Toughs. They're not typically too tough, these wolves. Um, but I believe they're fast, if memory serves me correctly. I do feel a little out of position, I'll be honest. don't like the shape of this uh, deployment. But I can't think of anything much better than this. Let's go ahead and dive into the battlefield and see what we can do. Did a quick save first, but hey, that's uh, <laughs> a lesson for next time. Now I think I think we'll be fine. If we take some losses again, the spawning pool is right behind us, right? Here we go. Oh, of course. We're fine. Ah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, come on now, really? Right in there, eh? Of course. Of course. Okay, we can eliminate these wolves. Who moves next? You move. 
shortly after this guy. Um, we try and pin him in place. He's probably going to come down towards our Shaman, which is not ideal, blocking them from doing any uh, ranged attacks. Right? If he comes down to here, that that's far from ideal. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's 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 finish you off, I suppose. Yeah, let's finish you off. Oh, that actually worked out for the better, because I can finish these wolves off with one hit again, just to reiterate, no ranged attacks when you have an adjacent enemy, so finish you off. A little bit of overkill there. And who to hit next? I mean, I suppose you're the only one we can reach. Go for it. That poison in there, down over here, six to eight, we can kill. Go for it. Eat that retaliation. Up over here, four to six, we can kill. Probably not a terrible idea. I mean, I'm not going to move and give them an attack of opportunity, right? Beautiful! I had to, like, downplay it so that the game works in my favor. And it looks like next turn... Oh, they're all the way at the end, anyway. Uh, so, sure, why don't we go ahead and... Insect swarm them, just to cause a touch of damage. Further reduce their, uh... Their initiative. I'm not going to attack with these guys. The retaliation is going to kill us if they manage to get one in there, so... Hang tight. You're going to come in from up top and finish Buddy off. The Lowly Hunter. An excellent stab to the back. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Yeah, I think that went well. I think that went just fine. I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think about how else I would have deployed, uh, and I can't really think of a better layout given the restrictions we had. A little unfortunate that those wolves came in against the Shaman you know, right at the beginning there. That, that hurt, but I thought that was okay. Out of movement, that worked out perfectly, actually. Uh, though I can't actually... Alright, fine. Next turn, we'll engage with this, and then we'll come back to the spawning pool. But is this turn done? Good stuff. Time passes, and the strength of hostiles grows. Fantastic. Yeah. Usually a ton of gold. Ooh, a handgun prototype. Hello. Plus 10 to ranged offense. That's not too shabby. What does this give us again? Plus 6 to offense in, you know, melee and range, I assume. Right, let's uh, move you away. Yes, so this applies to both range and melee, uh, but this is a, a, about 50% more, give or take. Um, but ranged only. On the bright side, it is one-handed, so if I find another one-handed weapon, we can, we can figure something out over here. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Let's go ahead and pull back to here. Mind if I do, see what we can recruit, right? As I can go ahead to South Creek Flats, we can actually move you over to make one stack there. Uh, fill out our lost shaman. Fill out our lost hunters. Yes. Now the question is, do we want two tremors? Do I want to leave a slot empty for now until we establish something else worth picking up? By the way, you can see some of the cooler units that we'll get down the line. If that doesn't excite you, then, uh, I mean, <laughs> it excites me, at least. Um, the Sages, let's see. Maximum troop size of 30, same as the Shaman. Uh, I wish there was a comparison mode. I wish you could compare, like, side-by-side -side comparison uh, right on this screen. Damage 1 to 2, damage 3 to 5. That is not insignificant. Health of 15 as opposed to 9. 5, 13, 8. Ooh. Yeah, the sages are significantly better. I wonder if I shouldn't start getting some of these sages in and, and kind of make Rask that uh, that uh, range focus, right? And we get to save the tremors for somebody else or, or come back and add tremors down the line when we open up another slot or something. Might be the right call. All right, let's go ahead and get some of these sages. I kind of want to see them in action. Just two. They're very vulnerable. I have to be very careful to make sure I don't like leave them in the open or anything foolish like that. Uh, nonetheless, we are... Are we really topped up? Oh my goodness. Close to it. Close enough to it. Close enough to it. Head on down over here. Excellent. Even more gold. Pick up this pile of wood. Get this old... Set of old bones. Ah, out of movement. Fair enough. I was really hoping to at least get some of this gold. No. We'll use this money. We'll, we'll put this money to good use. What do we have over here? I uh, can't upgrade you. We need quite a few things. You're fine. You're fine. I could upgrade this to generate... Twice as much gold per turn. That celestial ore is kind of scarce. I wonder about the mud huts. I wonder about the mud huts. I mean, gold and wood. Gives us the guards, which we've 
Getting, we've been getting value out of the guards, so I regret everything I said against them previously. Something to think about. Something to think about, because up over here, I think I would like to actually upgrade the small settlement. Yep. And use this medium site for the exchange. It'll take two rounds to complete, and then we can start selling against some of our surplus. I could also use a small build site to get either diggers to get more stone or gatherers to get more wood. For things like uh, amber and, and, and celestial ore, you need actual uh, you need actual like sites, as we've been claiming out in the distance, like glimmer weave and stuff as well. Uh, but what we can get at our settlements, we should try to get right. Go ahead and hit up this milestone over here. Get that extra movement. I wonder about these guys. I wonder if I could take them on after I get a couple of reinforcements. But let's go ahead and get those reinforcements in the first place. Okay, good. Safe assumption that these units are our reinforcements. Yes, join us, please, and thank you. Uh, should be able to stack them like so. Sure. Not in love with that. I'll be honest. Bring you up over here as well. It's all right. Yeah, that's alright. I kind of wish I'd actually unlocked an additional slot, now that I look back at this hindsight 2020. Because, you know, some of these reinforcements would have been quite helpful, but hey, it is what it is. Over to this bubbling pot, Isle of Stone, and the settlement itself. Beautiful. Now here... I could, yeah, I could, I could start building... I just wonder how, like, threatened this spot might be. You just know that the game is waiting to bite me in the butt, you know? I just know it. The fungus farm as well is probably not a terrible idea for the extra gold uh, coming through. You know when you get a gut feeling that you should do something? I'm getting that about this lookout tower. You know what? I, I will not deny that gut feeling. I'm going to go ahead and build this lookout tower, and it might be... It might be all for naught, but it's 500 gold and 5 wood. What's that's, that's not a waste of resources. That's such a minimal cost. There's no point going up over there. We'll... Ah, oh, we're blocked up over here, eh? Looks like there's a hill over there. We'll do a bit of exploring up top. But I feel as though we can't really go up there. Unless we, you know, sacrifice some of these free troops that are available. Uh, which I would rather not. Down over here, if we go to recruit Masugna, we need 2,500 gold. So next turn, we'll go ahead and get Masugna and we'll move her up north and uh, use her uh, use her to open up some of those black uh, blocked paths. Sorry, that's this turn done, though. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Lookout tower has been completed up over here. Oh, hello. It actually, yeah, okay, it does, in fact, give us a uh, sight. Looks like there is a set of ravagers up over here as well. Lots of troops to be gathered here. Okay, fantastic. You, let's go ahead and visit this treasure chest. Oh yeah, there's a pile of gold there as well. Okay, so to the treasure chest we go. Ooh, hello. 1,500 gold over there. We got this huge stack of gold. Don't mind if I do. Old camp over here. Oh, tempting. Let's go ahead and get the shaman, because if we have nine, we might as well... Let's, let's try and fill that out, right? Yeah, sure. Do that. 1,300 gold. We'll make it in no time. Reflecting pools. All right, that's all of our movement done. There's a lot over here, and it's all, what, guarded by troops we can just pick up? That sounds fantastic. Don't mind if I do. I just got to actually send somebody up there uh, for which purpose and to which end. I think it is time to get, yeah, Masugna. 2,500, we'll be able to afford some additional troops as well, and we'll, we'll send her uh, up north, yeah. Go for it. Recruit you. The spawning pool we go from South Creek Flats. We shall recruit additional tremors to bolster the three we start with. Uh, we'll go ahead and get... Oh, we have like very few available of anything. And I almost wonder if I... You know what? Let's leave them be. Let's let them uh, accumulate. Because again, part of the reason we're doing this is to have more troops from uh, from the freebies, right? So why why would I why would I why would I waste our pools over to the rider statue first? Sugan has joined us. He looks very grumpy. <laughs> I think it's the uh, the horn looking uh, uh, headdress or hat or whatever that is <laughs> it makes makes it look all the more aggressive. All right, let's pick up these old bones. Gloves of the Merchant Guild, giving us plus one hundred gold. All right, sure. Don't mind if I do. Pick up this gold. Pick up this gold. 
Oh man, we got, got, got plenty of money. It's just everything else that we don't have. All right, it's fine. Uh, are we able to reach here right now? We are, okay, that makes me nervous. Let's go ahead and quick save and dive on in, I suppose. Yeah, let's go for it. Why hesitate? Let's uh, let's do it. What we came here for. Barian slavers. A company of Barian slavers were locking young Rana into cages and preparing them for transport. Around them were the signs of violence and a battle the Rana had lost. More profit approaches. But we don't have enough cages to house you all. Step closer, and we'll have to kill you like the rest of your vermin friends. Your killing ends here. The Rana will be slaves no more. Alright, let's do this. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. I actually didn't realize there were a medium threat level. Uh, oh, man. A lot of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back battles over here. So, let's go ahead and move you up there. The shaman close to each other so they're able to act in tandem against one enemy. Bring these guys up from down here. I don't know if we can cover that much ground. I want to make sure, again, that these guys are not able to get in melee with our shaman, right? Uh, that would be devastating. Movement of three, so you'd be able to come down here. Movement of four on you, I believe. Movement of two. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start you back there, put you up there. Because then these guys can move forward first round. I doubt anybody will be within range. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to regret by the end of this battle, but I think this will work better for us than <laughs> these sages. I'm really worried they're just gonna die right off the bat here, but uh, to the battlefield we go. We have that quick save. If things go horribly wrong, we'll be able to uh, try this again. I, I, again, not just a matter of victory, right? We got this. We got this. What a beautiful, beautiful model vibrant and just gorgeous i love it all right what are we doing here uh you can fire up to there you guys move pretty slowly you can fire right up to there as well i'm almost tempted to draw aggro on these uh on these guys on these uh hunters you know pop up there and draw aggro from the uh from the muskets go for it here comes the jig of jugs as we're all moving forward rather quickly, okay. Uh, hey, oh jeez. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, that worked out rather nicely, and then I saw the, uh, you know, the damage at the end there, and oh lord, <laughs> I would have been just fine without it. Let me tell you. Uh, I could creep you up to there, get a shot up there. If I move you up to here. These guys would have to come around. I don't think they'll be able to fit. Come up there. You would come up to here. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and move you up to here. Again, reduce damage because of that movement, right? What are you going to do? All we can really hit is this guy for now. Get the poison in there at least. 25 to 26 again. These guys, even though they're reloading and hitting them is kind of useless right now, I guess getting the poison spread uh, would allow them to, uh, well, would, you know, would kill them while they're reloading in an ideal world. Go ahead and pop a shot up over here. Oh, nice. Wrecked. Um, move you up to here. Sure. Um, feel rather exposed down over here. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to move you up to here. Fire down here. Again, get the poison in here while they're reloading. Maybe they'll die if we're lucky. And an insect swarm. Let's see. When you come through with your jig of jugs, you give plus five initiative to everybody, right? This guy, these guys have what? Initiative of 25. Does that include? No, it's 20 by default, and they get 25 because of the Jigga Jugs. If I hit them with the Insect Swarm, it brings them down to 15 despite Jigga Jugs. Unfortunately, our initiative, I believe, is... Ooh, 19. Ooh, hello. Okay, so actually, Insect Swarm could make quite a difference. Wouldn't this guy's reach? That's out of this guy's reach, okay. Trying to figure out... Alright, now here's what we're gonna do. I was just thinking about holding this guy back, but I realize he's so out of range that that reduced initiative isn't going to do much for us. However, this earth block... might be a bit more valuable, forcing him to come around, you know? 
because he moves before the musketeers do, so he'll have to go around them and waste a lot of time or try to punch through the blocker. So sure, let's do that. Bit of a risky move, but let's, uh, let's hope that works out. Uh, we can move you up to there, away from the guard, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Maybe reposition the guard afterwards. Gonna lose these, uh, these hunters for sure, right? Come down and finish you off. But what does that do? It just invites this guy to hit me. Oh, I could come up there and try and finish these guys off. 17 to 20. It'll bring you up to try and hit me. Oh my goodness, am I really gonna fall for this? Am I really gonna get baited? God damn it, yes. Let's go for it. Come on. Yes! <laughs> that makes me so happy. They're going to die, like, right now. But I'm pleased that that worked out. And I'm pleased that this blocker actually forced this guy around the bend over here. All right. All right. That feels great. Let's go ahead and cause some damage. Uh, let's finish. Who's up next? We got this musketeer. He's still reloading, it looks like, right? Uh, he's poisoned, so he cannot attack, it seems. Fair enough. I'll take that. Let him keep, uh, keep eating damage there. Four to six from you. I could go ahead and fire from you as well. Probably finish this guy off and, and free these guys up, right? So, fire away. Good stuff. Yes, fire away. A little worried about, about her. We'll be moving next. Why don't we go ahead and use the explosive fungi. Block her approach. Um... Yeah, let's do that. So she'll at least take some damage on the way over. We could use this to deal 11 damage. I don't think that's really worth much anywhere. And eh, not, not really. Um, what do I hear? Yeah, it's not really worth much. Let's leave the uh, Psychic Spear out of this for now. It is the Shaman's turn. Let's go ahead and hit Buddy up over here. Uh, just contemplating, contemplating, contemplating. Yeah, sure. Hit Buddy up here. Down he goes. Excellent. Damn it. <laughs> that worked against me. Killing that guy actually worked against me there. I deserve that. We could try and... Cause a bit of damage here. Go for it. And you forward 15 to 22. And our... Uh, guard then is able to move in perhaps. As well. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do this. I think we're going to take an attack of opportunity from this guy, aren't we? I think so. Well, let's go ahead and finish him off. He's done reloading anyway, so he's taken care of. All right, up there, we're done. I might want to retreat. I don't know, what am I doing with four troops, right? Like, what's the value of keeping them safe? Pride? Misplaced sense of pride? Pull you back. What we're actually doing is, is generating more essence, right? We're keeping that option open for us. All right, let's go ahead and finish. I feel like any of the uh, sh other shaman or sages could finish off uh, these guys down over here. So let's go ahead and hit you up over there. Good stuff. Yeah, nah, I kind of cacked that up, didn't I? Okay, finish you off. Go ahead and... Cause what damage we can. Down here, here's where I'm going to try it. Let's go ahead and hit you. Uh, I've got Repel. Target troop gets pushed backwards three hexagon. I might actually be able to use that to good effect over here. Because I might be able to do... That. Beautiful. That actually, you know what, that worked out quite nicely. And then I can pull you down over here. Hit Buddy with... The insect swarm. And send them right back to the uh, end of the turn order there. You're free now to come down over here and strike. Excellent. Finish buddy off. Beautiful. From up there, we're not going to dive in and die. That's not ideal. But let's go ahead and fire. Legit. You know what? I feel good about that victory. We took, we took a fair number of losses. Yes, we did. But I, I feel pretty good about that victory. I'm sure there are ways I could have done it better, but, uh, oh boy. Always room for improvement. At least that's the way I approach things. There's always room for improvement, but I am pleased. I'm pleased with those numbers, straight up. You know, yeah, okay, 46 hunters dead, but what, like, 
they they acted as they needed to i would say right they uh they they they, they ate a lot of bullets from the musketeers um they held the brutes back as well like drew aggro from the uh the the pikeneers as well and everybody else was able to fire from a safe distance i think that worked out i think that worked out level 12 baby oh that's the maximum xp for this map fair enough i wonder you know what if that's the cap i think we should get command 7. i was going to upgrade tutor because it goes from plus 25 percent to plus 50 percent which is not insignificant literally double um but I think that extra slot is going to go a long way on this map. And I'm going to go ahead and get Command 7. Confirm that. Um, all right, good stuff. And you know what? This actually kind of works out because now we can visit the cage prisoners uh, as um, as Rask himself. Was this dead commander over here? Dagger gives us plus one offense. I don't think that's worth picking up. I'd rather get the gold, I think. Let's go ahead and grab the gold. Confirm that. Over the cage prisoners here. What do we have? Six guards. I mean, the XP is useless, obviously. We're capped out. Ah, oh, really? Six cards are going to take us over in the most inconvenient of ways. Fair enough. Again, the guards have been proving their their, their worth. Um, take back everything negative I've said about them. <laughs> They've actually been quite valuable. So, uh, yeah, they're great. That's the turn done, though. I believe it is. Just going to check real quick about... Uh, the exchange is under construction. We're producing units just fine. What about these slots, right? We've got an exchange coming. I could get the mud huts here done as well. Uh, it'll cost 3,000 gold. What else am I using it for? Not recruitment anytime too soon. If all goes well, perhaps time to actually get, uh, get the mud huts. Yeah, it'll be some time before we can afford uh, the birthing pool still. Sure, mud huts it shall be. Go for it. Watch, this settlement gets attacked and uh, and I lose all my recruitment capabilities. We also have this bubbling bog available again, so it might be worth uh, revisiting. But, we are done this turn. We are done this turn. Waiting for go. Oh, man. All right. That feels good. Finally clearing these guys out. That feels good. The exchange is complete, by the way. So, just to show you how the exchange actually works, you can open up the marketplace and, uh, yeah, buy and sell goods. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is going to take anybody by surprise. We're able to sell, you know, a lot of the wood that we have. Not going to sell too much because, watch, I'll regret it immediately afterwards. And we are able to get the Celestial Ore and the Ancient Amber as well as... Well, I mean, again, we can get all the resources here. There's no limitation in case you were wondering about higher tier, uh, you know, resources being limited because they're higher tier or anything like that. No such limits. Let's go ahead and hit up the Rider Statue over here. Get the extra offense and defense, move up towards the milestone to get the extra movement, and then we'll move towards some of these uh, recruitment spots while you, good buddy, will move to the reflecting pools over here. Get some XP, don't mind if I do. Anything else? Uh, part. Excellent. Yeah, our path is kind of blocked all over, isn't it? We need to recruit some of these troops. We need to empty out some of these, uh, some of these spots. Plus three movement. Probably could have done without that, really. Tribute to creation. Don't mind if I do. And that is pretty much our turn. And hopefully next turn, Masugna will be able to clear some of this out. At least one of them out, right? Yeah, the Ravager's up over here as well. It's an interesting uh, roadblock, really. Not one I would have assumed uh, to see. i pick you up. More gold up there, some more caged prisoners. Ah, uh, too bad. Ah, uh, that's really unfortunate. I And I don't think... Can I just leave you? I can. Okay, that's good. That's good, at least. Over to you. What do we have here? Ascend. As the Rana forces neared this cracked statue of a dragon, they heard a deep voice reverberate from the stone. Rask, the first rider. Ascended. You must awaken the Ethdra. They live north, but their key is to the west. Okay, so we're first headed towards their key, and then to the north, I see. So the whole map is very much a part of the uh, of, of, of the mission. Gotcha gold over here, don't mind if I do. We've got, what do we have here? We've got these guys. It's going to be more troops, I would imagine. Got these guys down over here. Bandits. More piles of wood and gold, a petrified tree, 
Got another shield down over there, Cairn. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and pull back and maybe take care of these ancient skeletons. Oh, you know what? We should go ahead and pick up the uh, the ore mining. We should come up and, and deal with these guys. That's that's what's next for, for Rask, I think. We need more hunters. We'll, we'll go ahead and pick them up once we get to the spawning pool up over here. We'll pick up some more hunters and perhaps some more sages as well so we can use them a bit more uh, freely. Might even drop off some of these guards depending on what's available actually at the spawning pool. Because uh, that stack of four doesn't seem so worth it. Uh, this won't be done until next turn, so it's not like we'll have generated too many of them either. All right, that's everyone taken care of. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, mud huts have been completed. Fair enough. Keep moving you up. Yes, towards the spawning pool. Why don't we go ahead and actually build uh, something at this site over here? I feel like some gatherers. Probably not a bad idea. Again, this is a small spot. We've already got a spawning pool. I don't think I need a fungus farm. Yeah, I guess we could go with... I guess we could go with the, uh, the the gatherers to try and bolster our wood production to try and match the stone production at the very least. Or, worst, worst case scenario, we can always you know, reconsider down the line. All right, Jikum? No, Masugna. Let's go ahead and please tell me you can get up there. You cannot, of course. Why would you be able to? Go ahead and get the extra movement. And now, still no. That's just my luck. Oh, well, I can go ahead and visit you. I don't know how much that's going to actually help me. Damn. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Next turn we'll go ahead and, and, and free up some spots up there. You can do what? Nothing, I guess. I mean, I could send you into fight. Would have been a, it would have been an okay call a handful of turns ago, but I do think he's just going to kind of sit pretty. Because there's no way behind this guy. Alright, yeah. Rough. Not ideal. But it is what it is. But it is what it is. Gatherers have been completed. Alright, plus three now. Up over here, Masugna. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm thinking like we get uh, these guys and these guys. Because there's a lot up over here that I would like to engage with. And I sincerely hope I'm not going to be hit by a surprise here. And it turns out to be a battle. Okay, good. Uh, yes, join forces. Unfortunately, don't have enough room for everybody. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Yeah, let's go for it. Gotta level you up. I gotta level you up. Forgotten Sanctuary. Maybe some XP to be gained there. Oh, I didn't actually visit this down over here, did I? I I gotta... You know what I gotta do? I gotta go ahead and, and, and pick up some XP there. Pick up some XP down over here and... Open up some more slots. Damn, alright. Keep you moving up over here. At least we've opened... Ooh. That is a banner. Oh, it smells like trouble up here. Definitely looking at some trouble up over here. I am glad that we put this uh, lookout tower down. I'm not sure what to expect, but uh, yeah, that doesn't look uh, that doesn't look ideal. Let's put it that way for now. Go ahead and uh, actually before we visit that spawning pool, because I'm probably going to forget if I don't do it right now. What do you need? You need five celestial ore. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go to the exchange and buy some celestial ore. Oh my goodness, 700 gold for one. Go for it. Again, we have so much gold. Uh, so much wood, sorry. We can make that gold back in no time. There you go. Done. Roughly, give or take. And now I can actually upgrade you. So we can start getting some Storm Guard as well. Thing is, they stop making the base unit. They replace the unit they make with a new unit type. So, something to consider if you're thinking about reinforcements and, and, and troop distribution and things like that. Alright, over to the spawning pool. From South Creek Flats. Uh, shall we... Shall we do what? Pick up five of these guys. Alright, fill this up. Pick up eight of these guys first, I think. Yep, yeah, that's significantly better to look at. Go ahead and grab you. Good stuff. And we may as well get some more hunters, right? Hmm. I say that, but then I question that. 
Uh, they've, they've, they've proven their worth. I, I, I think once we lose this stack, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, replacing them with Stormguards. Stormguards are max troop size 50 as well, damage 4 to 6 versus 2 to 3, so it's twice as much. Health of 12 versus 6, again twice as much. Offense, defense is 16 to 13. Here we have, wow, 6 to 2. So the Stormguard, oh my goodness, this is a big upgrade as far as defense is concerned, especially. Movement and initiative. Movement's the same, but initiative is slightly higher as well. And they have the uh, defend ability, which you can, um, if I have it right, it's an active ability. You can click defend and it gives that plus 30 defense. And apparently they're stealthy as well, ignoring zone of control. That is quite valuable. I forgot about the uh, zone of control ig uh, ignoring there. So that's, that's quite good. Okay, this is, a, this is a decent looking stack. I think I'm comfortable with that. We're going to start getting some higher tier units shortly. We can move in and start to unlock some of the stuff up over here. I'm going to go ahead and see what we're up against there. Or do we actually want to deal with these guys first? Pile of stone. There's a portal down here. Very tempting. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and try and unlock some of this stuff up over here first. Get the uh, ore and stuff as well. I'm going to see what we're up against first. So like I said, it says they're easy. Quick save, and let's dive into this battle, and, and uh, yeah, get a test run in, I suppose, with some of these units at least. See what they have to offer. Let's push you up over to here, or rather, let's get you up there. These guys can push up and, and take up these higher positions. You, these guys can come down. You should be able to come down as well. Let's move you down to here, too. I think, I think we'll be okay, but I don't want to get too cocky. Battlefield. Again, it says it's an easy battle, right? We should be fine. All right, things are things like I said. Things have been escalating, and they continue to escalate. This session has uh, has been has been something, I would say. Oh, they're all ranged, eh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, let's have them move forward first round, and then we can try and quickly close the gap. Oh, they're we're in range right off the bat. All right, <laughs> not ideal. Not ideal. Don't want to get into their deadly range, though, obviously. I want to get into their deadly range. Let's go ahead and move you. Oh boy, down to here. No, stay put there. Buddy over here. I want to get you on the high ground for that extra range. A little concerned. You'll be fine. The damage up. That's pretty solid. Finish you off. Down you go. Buddy up over here. Are you stuck? Oh yeah, your path is blocked completely. That's on me. And hang tight. Go ahead and get you up over here on the high ground as well. Just out of range, unfortunately, but I think they'll have to come closer to us. And your turn there. And you, why don't we go ahead and get you down here? Just get that extra defense. And I could pull you. Actually, you know what? Hang tight. You're going to come up. You're going to come up. Decent bit of damage from them, but nothing I can't uh, handle over here. Hang tight. Go ahead and finish these guys off. <laughs> Beautiful. And finish these guys off. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Really not much of a test run for uh, any of those units. That was so simple. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more of a fight. Feeling a bit more comfortable in my skin now, though. Again, it takes time to, to get a bit more familiar with mechanics and systems and stuff, I'm starting to feel a bit more at home. I'm sure I'm still making, you know, mistakes here and there and things that could be done a bit more efficiently, but that's uh, that's learning as we go, right? You'll feel decently good about that, though. Go ahead and pick up some of these goods. Some extra gold. We have this levitating obelisk. I wonder if that's source of power, it says, so it shouldn't be experience points. It won't be wasted. Gold urn, some celestial ore, and some ancient amber. That's everyone's turns done. We're ready for the next round. Go ahead and making sure there's no management I should be doing. Got these gatherers set up. Down over here, we have this building slot. I think, yeah, next up is the birthing pool. I guess I could get it going as of next round, right? We're going to get the Glimmer Weave next round. Uh, and the Celestial Ore, we can just buy. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's go ahead to the exchange, go ahead to the marketplace, and get plus five Celestial Ore for 3,500. Oh my goodness. You know what? No, that's, that is wasteful. That is absolutely wasteful because we know there's some to pick up over here. We know there is some to pick up right over here. I'm 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 eager to get the, those upgrades, but I'm no fool either. Let's go ahead and uh, end the round there. We'll pick up these upgrades. 
We'll uh, get uh, research going ASAP as well, and then we'll see what all this nonsense is about. That is definitely a banner. It has been visited by somebody else. It has been claimed, it seems, by somebody else. And you know what? The, uh, the color of the terrain over here has changed rather drastically as well to some rather deathly tones. And I'm, like I said, just a touch concerned about what lies behind the fog of war. Folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. You could call it a cliffhanger, I suppose, of sorts, but I'm really excited to see what comes next. I'm curious to, again, see how y'all feel about this session, so don't hesitate to let me know down below, folks. Your comments and likes make a world of difference. Just let me know what folks want to see on the channel. So keep them coming, and I'll keep addressing them and uh, sort of uh, including them however we can as far as uh, gameplay and, and, and decisions moving forward are concerned. But uh, yeah, the, the, the plot thickens, as the case might be, folks. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>